10 hut hey guys general spotting here today i want to do another video on paint and i'm going to be doing some comparison and reviews of paints uh, for particular lines i'll be looking at the privateer press uh, p3 line reapers reaper master series paints vallejo's game color paints and also uh, vallejo's model color paints uh, let me say right off the bat so uh, people We'll see this at the first of the video in case they don't watch the whole video. I will not be doing any kind of review of the new Games Workshop paints. I have close to 400 paints as it is, and I just don't want to invest in any more, so sorry. Uh, there's no reflection whatsoever on uh, GW or and their paint line. It's just I don't want to get any of them. Sorry. So uh, don't ask. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's get into, let's first talk about uh, eyedropper bottles versus paint pots. We have fans of each in, in the community, and whichever side of the fence you fall on, that's just fine. You know, your preference is your preference. I prefer the eyedropper bottles. So let's talk a little about uh, the bottles versus the pots, because there's uh, strengths to both of them and weaknesses to both of them. Uh, first of all, let's look at pots. Uh, the big thing about pots, or at least pots like this, is that uh, you got to open them. You can get uh, paint on your fingers as you open them, but these particular ones will finally, after time, detach from the uh, ring that holds it on. Another thing you see there is you get these. <laughs> in the rings that you got to uh, let a clog up and you eventually got to take them out so uh, that's the big drawbacks to paint pots certainly they're, they're easier to get to the paint once you uh, get them open and uh, if you can get a good seal on them they should last you a while now um, eyedropper bottles the big drawback for them is they get clogged up from time to time or you'll get something like this in your dropper bottles these came off of the uh, game colors so you'll have that and you'll see it here with this red right there and the the tips do get clogged uh, the reapers have a different uh, thing is that they'll clog up like that but they'll crumble around it so you'll get a lot of paint flakes um, that's the difference between the formulations of the paint uh, and I'll get to talking about that in, in a moment but um, the Reaper Master Series uh, will clog up on you so you have to take a pen and stick it in the top but also uh, the game color and the model color will as well and you have to stick a pin but it won't be as pronounced as with the uh, reaper series uh, i believe they just have a slightly larger opening in uh, their bottles but um, theirs are more prone to um, getting clogged underneath so when you go to squirt them out uh, if you're not aware of what's underneath it'll squirt out a huge amount and then you've just got a mess there that you got to try to take a brush and put back in the bottle or just you've lost it so there's uh, they're about neck and neck really on the bottles for uh, these two it's just uh, what you're uh, used to really but uh, uh, that's you know it's just your own personal preference all right let's get into uh, the uh, lines themselves and talk a little about the uh, paints I uh, went through a lot of research on this. Somebody uh, once said that I didn't do research, which I thought was monumentally stupid, but uh, that was their opinion. All right, let's, uh, let's start with the um, uh, Formula P3s here, since they're first in line. These are a line of 72 paints uh, by, put out by Privateer Press, makers of War Machine and Hordes. Um, they're in the paint pots as you see there. I've talked about them before uh, the finish on these are a satin finish uh, These are the only ones I saw a reference one time About uh, they were talking about another paint was made with a liquid pigment. I went to the website So I did not see that this is the only paint that I'm aware of that has actual liquid pigment And they and that's what they claim and they they put it in their magazines when they first came out with it still on their website these are the only ones that are are uh, made with liquid pigment. 
that I can tell. These retail, this is a half ounce uh, pot. It retails for uh, $350, but certainly you can find it cheaper at online stores and on eBay. Uh, they are the most unique range of the paints because they are geared for their specific factions that they have within War Machine and Hordes that Privateer Press makes. Uh, but uh, they're uh, great uh, paints for any application but you gotta remember that there are, are a unique line case in point out of 72 paints these are the only two true uh, reds within the line uh, Kedora Red Base Scorn Red um, there are other there's some oranges and there's also they have what they call sanguine base which is more of a wine color or scarlet or crimson never how you wish to uh, whatever you wish to say for that color but these are the only two uh, true reds in the whole line a dark red and a lighter red uh, they have a lot of browns uh, and a lot of grays within the line but an excellent paint line I love using them they uh, the I'll talk a little bit more about characteristics in a moment now let's move on to uh, the Reapers here. This is a line of 216 paints plus they have 38 uh, HD paints which stands for high density sort of mimicking the GW old uh, foundation paints where they are higher uh, density pigment or higher concentrations of pigment within them to, uh, to do more one coat coverage. Um, the strength of these is uh, their uh, triad system where you can buy three paints in a box where you'll get a base coat color, a shadow color, and then a highlight color, which makes it excellent for specific tasks or if you uh, that you can build your uh, paint line as you go. These are half, in, uh, half ounce bottles as well. Uh, they are retail for $3.29 a bottle, but certainly you can find them cheaper. Uh, at different outlets. Uh, these dry dead matte. Uh, they're very very flat flat paint. Uh, very matte. Uh, these are if you've never used these they may take a little getting used to uh, because they don't require as much thinning as you would say with the model color or the game color or even the P3's for that matter. Uh, they uh, flow very well out of the bottle. There's a lot of flow improver in them so they're easily workable. Um, I'll, and we'll get into more about uh, paint characteristics. Next is the game color. There's 108 of these including uh, additives and washes. Um, these are a, they used to say on the website, a, a vinyl based paint. Um, that is evidenced by the flexibility within these, uh, you see the the paint that came off the stem, how flexible that is. Uh, now it says resin. I don't know if that means they've changed the formulation. It's probably a vinyl resin, so it's still the same. They just changed the wording around. Uh, these are these paints are retail for three twenty nine. Uh, they are. It says on the website uh, is a matte finish, but I found that not be the case. They're more of a satin finish. They're not. Uh, a true flat paint. Uh, they do have a matte sheen to them, eggshell sheen. These are 17 milliliter droppers, uh, eyedropper bottles, which is slightly more than half an ounce, I believe. Um, th like I said, these retail for $329. Alright, next you have the model color. Uh, this is uh, Vallejo's main line for uh, modelers and hobbyists. There's 218 colors in here but um, that also includes their liquid gold series, the liquid metallics, liquid silver, liquid bronze, liquid brass, copper, so that are alcohol based. So um, once you take out the uh, alcohol based metallics, it's slightly less colors than the uh, Reaper series has. These are 17 milliliter bottles as well. So um, and these retail for 329 also. Um, these are a matte finish and it is more matte than the game colors are. Uh, Alright, so basically the costs are, are, are close to comparable, especially once you start buying them at a discount at, at like something online. Alright, let's talk a little about characteristics now. That's the main thing which you really want to know about. 
Uh, also, uh, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to kind of break this down into uh, a few areas. Um, separation, durability, coverage and workability, and breakdown. Now, let's take the first, separation. What do I mean by separation? Um, separation refers to what happens inside the bottle itself. Uh, as the paint sits on the shelf or sits in your painting case or wherever, uh, what happens to it over time? Now, um, I've heard all paints separate, but I found that not to be the case. Um, these P3, since they are made with liquid pigment, I have no issues whatsoever with separation. Um, all the pigment stays immersed within the uh, fluid, and I shake them up out of habit, but you really don't need to. Uh, there might be, I might have one paint, and I don't think, to be in my honest opinion, I don't think I have one paint that is separated uh, out of all the paints that I have. Uh, they just don't separate, or they are the best by far. There's not any anybody even remotely close to the way this paint stays together in the pot. Next are the uh, Reaper paints. These, uh, the Master Series uh, paint, excellent paint. It does um, stay together very, very well in the um, in the uh, bottle. There is. Uh, you will find separation with these paints. Uh, a lot of times it depends on color, but uh, overall still pretty good for uh, keeping the uh, keeping the consistency of paint within instead of having separate layers of the binders and the different layers that you would have from separation in the bottle. So they do uh, reasonably well uh, inside the pot. Now these are horrible the game colors are horrible to separate as you see there this is bronze flesh tone and what you're seeing there is just a milky substance which is the, the part of the matte medium and all of that you have to shake and shake and shake these uh, one time uh, somebody I saw put a put on up a comment about well that's why you should get you a paint shaker if getting a paint shaker is a recommendation for getting these paints then that's not a recommendation at all folks <laughs> um, these are the world's worst at paint separation I mean it's not even a question I mean hands down uh, uh, and next we have the uh, model color these paints stay together reasonably well these are on a par with the uh, Reaper paints uh, they, they'll, I'd, I'd say they're about neck and neck, you know, just depending on the color that you pick up. These do stay together better because they're under a different formulation. I hear all the time that uh, Vallejo has the most paints colors. Well, technically yes, because they've got the, 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 you know, the model layers, the model color, the pans racers, and game color. But the different formulations for each of those lines, uh, or most of the lines, and so. Uh, you know, but it's still, I mean, 220, 216, 18, you get over 200 colors, you got plenty to choose from, believe me. So, uh, but uh, better separation uh, control than the game color. Game color is almost a zero, you know, on a scale of one to five, I'd, I'd like to give it a zero, but, uh, you know, say a one or point five. So, these are the absolute best. I give these five out of five, and I give the, the Reapers and the uh, model color say 3.5 out of 5 and I'll give these a 0.5 <laughs> the game colors so all right let's move on to uh, durability uh, durability of the paints uh, varies from line to line obviously uh, with the uh, p3 paints uh, good durability I found no issues as far and what I mean by durability is we're talking about rub off chipping and cracking uh, have no none of those issues with uh, the uh, paint uh, from uh, for the P3s uh, very very good paints for in that regard the Reaper Master series um, they're very good and very uh, durable and wear very well some slight rub off um, 
Now, and uh, I've experienced no chipping with these, uh, so good paint for that. Once again, the game color is the uh, the uh, one that's the uh, worst of the bunch. Uh, extensive uh, rub off, especially chipping, and uh, not much cracking, but a lot of chipping with these uh, paints, especially obviously on the edges, but uh, uh, not very good in durability department. The model colors are better. Uh, I put them on line, uh, on on average with the uh, Reaper Master Series. Um, they have uh, better wearing capabilities and and they are much more durable than the game colors. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, coverage and workability. Uh, coverage meaning you know uh, uh, do they go on well and do they co color your base coat or your your primer coats uh, well. And then uh, workability, we're talking about things where you're using, uh, what techniques you're using to paint with, like um, different types of blending, being able to manipulate the paint and work the paint. Uh, the um, P3s, we'll start again first. Uh, excellent paint to work with. It has uh, drying, more drying retarder in it, and it'll tell you on the site that it's a much, or it's designed to be a slower drying paint than the other paint, so you have more working time with it. And uh, I've experienced uh, that depending on how how much you thin the paint, uh, but uh, there you can you can do anything you wish to with these paints. They work very very well for all different types of blending, wet blending, uh, doing veils where you know you're working with very very thin coats of paint repeatedly. Um, you can do anything you wish to with these paints. Uh, they are they cover well they go on very very smooth uh, they flow v excellently off the brush uh, so they're just a joy to uh, paint with next is the reaper master series since they have so much flow improver compared to the other lines they flow very very well it's a thinner paint uh, but it still covers very very well uh, but it's easy to manipulate the paint with these uh, less water required for this paint than any other line so uh, they are excellent. You can do anything you wish to with these paints. Uh, they are just a joy to work with. I love them. The game colors are, you can do anything you wish to with these paints. Uh, they are thicker paints, so they're going to require more water than any of the others that I found. Uh, well, exception maybe the uh, model colors. They're, they're along similar lines as far as texture and consistency. Uh, but you can you can do all the blending and everything you wish to with those. Uh, so uh, I mean, they you can manipulate the paint uh, not as well as say as a Reaper, but certainly you can do anything you wish to with the paint as far as a, from a creative standpoint. Certainly that it can be said of the model colors as well. Uh, they f they flow uh, pretty good. Uh, you can blend them. You can you can uh, uh, do all sorts of things that basically with any of these lines you can do any type of paint technique at least that I know of that you wish to alright uh, let's go on to breakdown now breakdown is something different than uh, separation separation is what I term what occurs in the bottle breakdown occurs outside of the bottle and this is when you Breakdown occurs when you add something to it, some kind of foreign agent, be it water, be it uh, flow improver, be it drying retardant, uh, uh, or if you're going to use an airbrush medium to thin your paints, whatever, or alcohol, whatever it is, and how well does that hold up and resist breakdown once you've placed an additive into it? Uh, with the uh, P3s, um, and all this is depending on how much the amounts that you add. Uh, basically, you'll get away with anything on these lines if it's one to one, where there not much breakdown is going to occur if it's if it, let's say it's water, not much breakdown is going to occur if it's just one to one ratios. Breakdown becomes more pronounced the more of the additive you add. Um, breakdown is is good with the uh, P3s um, you get up to two and three drops of water too then you certainly start experiencing breakdown which breakdown as far as separation when things start to come apart you have to keep things mixed up to 
if you're working for a long period of time you have to keep using them uh, same with the uh, Reaper uh, they you will experience some breakdown less than the uh, P3 now you would experience a lot of breakdown with the game color because of the separation issues mentioned earlier they're going to break down very very quickly you get past one drop of water and you need, you know, some colors you'll experience with one drop of water you will see pronounced breakdown with uh, these paints and it's been my experience and I've used them a great great deal for a long time that's all the paints I had were these uh, so you, the breakdown will occur a great deal with the game colors less pronounced with the model colors uh, they hold together much better than the game colors themselves I think it's just better formulated paint uh, so uh, these will uh, uh, break down once you get up into two and three drops or, or or the additive whatever it may be that you're using so that's uh, I felt that was a separate issue because separation is in the bottle breakdown occurs when you put something with it so you know it's totally to me at least in my mind they're two different things completely alright now we've talked about the characteristics I want to talk about some known issues that I've experienced so, and I, so I have researched it and um, let's talk about the uh, P3 the known issue really with P3 and there's only uh, one that I have and that is I've already talked about it, is the paint line itself is limited uh, well, there's another issue. It's a pretty major one, but I think they've figured fixed it. Um, is the limited range of the uh, paints? Uh, like I said, only two reds, true reds in the paint line. Excellent, excellent paints. But um, if you're looking for something that's going to cover a broad base of miniatures, these might not be for you. Uh, there's just a few, uh, like two or three or four yellows in the uh, range. I think it's three yellows. Uh, so. Uh, that's a known issue. The other issue is, and I think they fixed it, I, but I haven't tested it yet. Their metallic range when they came out with these were horrible. Uh, bad to, to gunk up and just be a, uh, a paperweight there on your uh, uh, desk. I've heard they fixed that, but I haven't tested any of the new line to see that. So be aware of that. I think they have, but I'm not sure. Somebody will have to to put in a comment uh, otherwise. So be careful of the metallics. Uh, if it's an older box that you're getting or if you're buying it at your local store, it might have been sitting there for a while. So, uh, But I think they have fixed it. So that's a known issue there. Known issue with um, the uh, Reaper Master Series is that, and the only one I'm, that I found after using it, is that uh, you don't gump, uh, goop these paints up on the model you know you don't put a lot on because if you do if, you, if you're if you a painter where you just like to goop a lot of paint on to, to save time this is going to crack on you um, but that's not because if it's used correctly you, you wouldn't get the crack so I didn't say that about dur in the durability because you know this has that's it's a function of the way you use the paint if you're putting on a big thick gloppy layer uh, I've seen seen it crack on me before and I was like whoops I should have been paying more attention so be aware of that uh, you use it properly you know thin down paint and a good layer you come back with an, uh, and do a pass with another layer instead of trying to cut corners so uh, that's the issue that I, I see with the Reaper series with these it's going to be separation 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 but there's some other issues as well um, uh, since it's a, uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's a function of the uh, vinyl paint or resin paint they use, but these have a tendency to to chalk up a great deal, especially in the blues. Uh, as you're thinning the paint and trying to put it on the um, figure that you're painting, you'll experience that chalkiness where you'll see that whiteness where it's separating, I guess, out again or breaking down in the medium. But you will experience that hazing, that chalking effect well, with these paints, which is um, not good. Uh, you will experience some of that with the model color, but very, very little. That's probably a function of the color itself. But it is pervasive that I found in the game colors, but not so much in the uh, model colors. So, let me see. I think that's about all I wanted to talk about. Um, 
And now, I said all that to say this. Here's my recommendation. I am a big fan of the P3s and the Reapers. I just do not like these game colors for the obvious reasons that I've stated. Model colors are better. Uh, in fact, they're much better paints than the game colors. Uh, I think these are just wonderful paints, the P3s and the uh, Reapers. But here's my recommendation. And you've heard me say this before on those other videos that, you know, it doesn't matter to me. If you get great results with spitting a spatula, then that's what you need to be doing <laughs> and using. Um, but don't take my word for it. Here is the absolute best advice I think anybody can ever give you when choosing a paint line. If these paints interest you or whatever paint it is, get you a couple of pots or eyedroppers or whatever they, tins, whatever they come in of that paint. I recommend you do not get a red because they are, are, are they're, they're thinner and it's, it's hard to cover with red. I'd say get you a dark blue and a green or brown. Don't get a white paint for obvious reason there's no pigment in it except for the titanium out of the white and don't get a black paint you know get something with uh, uh, color in it and try that paint out see how it works for you uh, that is bar none the absolute best advice anybody can give you don't waste your money on a whole set of paints or a whole box of paints get two three try them out see if they work for you you might hate them you might hate P3, you might hate Reaper, you might hate game color, you might hate model color. But if you've only got a couple of uh, pots or bottles of it, you hadn't wasted a lot of money. So, you know, I don't, I'm, I just don't like game color, period, the end. I still use it because I spent a lot of money on these things because I uh, took the recommendation of somebody on YouTube that I shouldn't have and got the whole case. <clears throat> so voice of my experience buy one or two you get the other I just I just think these paints are horrible but a lot of you out there love them and you get great results for them and you need, you need to keep using them so you know I don't like them but you know that's just my in my opinion in, in my world my opinion is king but in your world my opinion don't mean a thing <laughs> so try them the, just I encourage you get if you're interested get a couple try them out that way um, I think these are the two finest paint ranges on the market model colors are good and, and I'm sure there's other uh, great paint ranges out there but this is what I have and this is what I wanted to talk about uh, if you want to share your thoughts I know this has been a long one but I hopefully I've given you enough researched information and personal experience that you can make a more form, informed decision but like I said the best thing you can do is try them for yourself you know don't take my word for it don't take um, somebody else's word for it you get a bottle of it even if it's only one bottle you try it out and see for yourself see if I'm right see if I'm wrong uh, so, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. It's a lot of information. I hope you stay till the end, especially to see the part where I recommend that you just buy one or two and try it for yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to talk more about it with you uh, and uh, help you any way I can. This is General Splatten, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.